Today we are reviewing Joma class, an uh, online classes for programming and software engineering from Jonathan or Joma, a very popular tech YouTuber. Uh, so what's the contents? There are currently three classes or courses. Uh, the first one, programming fundamental with Python. The second, data structure and algorithm. The third one, SQL for data analyst. And I think he's also working on a new one on web dev that that might take a while. Now we can see the list of all videos in these courses uh, in the website without actually registering. You, uh, there's many. You have to log in to watch though. I can show it here. But if you purchase a pass and log in, you can see that each course is organized into like multiple sections. Like each section is a set of videos grouped into a common theme like a bunch of video on python for loop or binary tree you know it's like playlist on youtube there might be some exercises or assignments at the end of each section or chapter uh, first let's look at like the video quality what is the main format here on um, most online classes these days uh, you can watch uh, a couple of sample videos in the Joma class YouTube channel is a combination of like handwriting, scribbling, screen capture, and recently even like animations. Later videos that have been made with like really good animation, which I appreciate. These take a lot of efforts to make. Uh, maybe Joma recently hired someone to do this. Overall, the video quality is good. Why are there no Yoma faces in all of these videos? I mean, we don't need to see his silly hair in every frame or anything, but come on, throw in some fan services here and there. Now, more importantly, look at the actual content. The first course, uh, Programming Fundamental with Python, covers some basic programming concepts and mostly syntactic aspect of the Python programming language. Um, I major in CS and from my perspective, uh, this is a shallow. You will not learn about like, how computer works, how this is related to computer processor memory, how the code is compiled or interpreted, and how like Python programming language is different, the same compared to other programming languages. Uh, however, this shallowness is actually an advantage, making it very like beginner friendly, very accessible. Is this for kids? Is it amateur hour? Can you even call this a course? If we compare it with say a college class, uh, then this is like a quarter of a class. And for your reference, an undergrad has to take like five or six classes per semester. The, the second course is uh, data structure and algorithm. It is split into two parts. The first one called theory, covering basic concepts, what data structure are, what are algorithm, what uh, like algorithm complexities, um, fundamental stuff like stack, tree, heap, graph, how to do sorting, how to do searching, etc. The second part called algorithm question, would actually like programming problems, mostly the uh, lead code easy or medium level of difficulty. Now there's more things to watch here. There's like little structure simply the more problem you practice on the better so you will spend a good amount of time here after learning on the fundamental uh, the last one sql for data analyst is it a little bit our place and pointless it's only there because joma used to be a data analyst just ignore this shit well if you are becoming a software engineer, good chance that you eventually learn about the server client design, how backend service work, what different database systems are, how the data is organized, say query or updated, etc. Finally, another element of this class is uh, the internal forum and it is called chat group. You can ask questions and others and maybe even Joma will respond. So that is everything. The amount of knowledge here isn't much. You can build a good foundation of computer science or software engineering with just this. Uh, there is not a bigger structure or roadmap. So depending on your goals, 
you might want to figure this out first by yourself. Lastly, different from say a college program, I feel there is not enough assignments or projects and you have to be conscious of the pacing yourself. Everyone have their own pace is stupid. Too fast is bad. Too slow is also bad for you. If you look at Coursera classes or online degree, for example, uh, there is recommendation like course structures and pacing. Say week one, you have to watch this set of lectures and do this set of homeworks. If you are an absolute beginner, or if you are a fellow Yoma fan, then sure get this. This could be a good supplement. Uh, of course, it is nowhere near enough to become a software engineer. But if it's for your own entertainment, or if you want to learn Python as a tool to do something, then this Codify or any other online classes, they are the same. Now, if you serious about learning, then you should be able to finish this uh, within a month. So please do this. If this is second you more than a year, then you don't need these classes. What you need are some ass whoopings. What grinds my gears is how learning is easier, not just because of Joma class, but everything. We have Google search, Stack Overflow, hundreds book on every topic, ton of example code on GitHub, manual instruction, step by step video. We literally have people show us what letter they type on screen. Are you serious? Do you know what it's like to learn programming 30 years ago? Now that is good, right? Right? Surprisingly, no. No. Because no pain, no gain. Okay, read this book on the learning process. The easier it is for you to learn something, the harder and more unlikely that you're gonna master it. Here is the ultimate way to learn Python programming or anything. Pull the plugs. No internet, no books, no instruction manual or anything. No asking anybody. Just you and a computer. Just trials and errors. You can figure out the syntax of any programming language just by looking at thousands and thousands of compilation errors. In fact, just pack your packs and go live in the mountain alone, working on your craft. That's how any old master of any discipline hone the skills. And that is the proven ways to become a top tier software engineer.